In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how you can use the calendar template and customize it with your own image. We'll also look at editing text and finally outputting the file. So let's get started. With the file opened up, you'll want to make sure that you have both the materials palette and the layers palette opened up. If you do not, right click a blank area on a toolbar, go down to palettes and you can select layers palette materials palette. Alternatively, you can use F8 and F6 to bring those up. Now that I've got my palettes opened up, it's a matter of scrolling down in the layers palette and I'll select my image and drag it over. Drop my image here and then on screen with the pick tool selected, I can move this into position and then resize my image. Once I have my image where I want it, in the Layers palette, I can scroll to whichever month that I want and simply turn that on. This gives me the ability to hide or unhide various layers. So here we set this for September. That's really all there is to it. However, we've added additional flexibility to this template in that I can select my overlay layer And then in my toolbox on the left hand side, I can select my color changer and click on this layer. This then allows me to add a color to this particular object. Let me just go into my materials palette. I'm going to change that color. I want to grab something a little bit brighter. I'm going to go for the yellow. And I'll move this up a bit. I'll click OK to that. And that's all there is to it. Now let's create another calendar. I'm going to close this off without saving it and I'll open up the file again. To give me more workspace here, I'm going to auto hide my navigation panel. I'm going to auto hide my organizer and I can now zoom in and get more working space for my file. I want to bring my next image in, so if I pan down to my organizer, it will pop that up and I can simply double click on the image. This is yet another way to bring a file in on the system. I'm going to do a control C to copy. I'll go back to my calendar template and I'm going to go to the edit menu and down to paste as new layer. This is going to automatically paste this in for me. If I scroll down, I'll see my image right here. I'm going to drag and drop this below my overlay. And now with that selected, select my pick tool. I can resize and position this image where I want it. Now it's simply a matter of turning on my calendar. For this particular one, it's Father's Day. I want to build a calendar for Father's Day. I'm going to go to June. I'm going to turn on the month of June. And now I want to add some text on the screen. I've already copied the text to the clipboard. So it's simply a matter of clicking on my text tool. I'll click on my page. And then do a control V. And that will paste that text in for me. You'll notice on the interactive property bar at the top, I have the ability to change font, change my point size, uh, a number of other things, including color, justification, and that sort of thing. Let me just go ahead and do a little bit of formatting to this piece of text. I'll make sure my text is selected. I want to change the color of this. My font color is blue. That's fine. I want to change the stroke to blue as well. Clicking on this. I know the shade of blue that I want. I'm going to use the HTML code for that. And that is 011AA7. And I'll click OK. Now, you may notice that the text is a little bit faint. Let me take this piece of text. I'm going to move that into position. I'll go into my Layers palette. Scroll down. And my text is actually below the overlay layer. If I change the order of these layers, it will bring that above the overlay layer and my text will be much more rich and vibrant. Now I've added the text as an inspirational quote. Uh, 
I can certainly add text into any one of these areas as well. Uh, for example, I can select my text tool, and uh, let's say on the uh, on the twelfth is a birthday. It's simply a matter of typing that in, formatting the text, and. Uh, that's all there is to it. So very quick and very easy, I have the ability to add notations in any one of these days as well. I'll save this out as a JPEG, and then I can email it to my family members. I can also take it to a store and have them printed on photo paper. If you want to try other templates, go to the File menu and down to New from Template. In here, you'll notice that there's a number of templates that you can download and use. Some of them you'll have to pay for. Others are free. So feel free to go through and experiment and play with some of those templates. If you found this video while browsing through YouTube, make sure you head on over to the Discovery Center at learn.corel.com, where you can find equally informative videos as well as templates, scripts, and other additions that you can add to PaintShop Pro. Thanks for watching.